Yeah. Oh my gosh. Long time no Klee. Klee! We haven't seen you in forever. Oh, it's Miss Honorary Knight and Paimon. <laughs> I was just about to go find you. What? Two. No. What? What's the matter? I got a terrible, terrible letter and need to go to a certain place. We will rescue Dodoko. A terrible letter? Yes. From a person that won't acknowledge that Klee and Dodoko are family. They even said they want to test Klee and have Klee go to Dodo Land, but... Dodo Land. But... <laughs> There's no need to rush. Slow down. Who's this person that you're talking about, Klee? A very bad, bad, bad guy. He's called Dodo King. <laughs> what? Who's Dodo King? Paimon, don't take this seriously. Paimon also hasn't heard of him? Nope. Wait, why did you say also? <laughs> no one knows of Dodo King. Because even Klee has never heard of him. Okay, I, I thought at least Klee would know. Ah, uh, he's probably just some weirdo. I went to go find Albedo, but he's not home. So Aww, we can't take Albedo with us. Let me read you the letter that Dodo King wrote. <clears throat> Wicked girl of flame. I am of the Dodo clan. Uh, Klee can't read this part. <laughs> In the name of Dodo King, you are not qualified to become Dodoko's new family. Oh. Unless you bring Dodoko to the Golden Apple Archipelago, life for... Uh, <laughs> she couldn't read the part, but she can read Archipelago. <laughs> I don't know some of these words. Let Paimon have a look. <laughs> this word is Overlord, which means he's the most powerful guy around, and what he says goes. This part reads... Light four beacons and knock upon the trialist gate. Hmm. Probably to accept some kind of challenge. I'm so curious why anyone would send Klee a letter like the this. The last word is arbitrate, which... That's a big uh, word. Which means he wants to judge you. Klee, Klee gets a pass on that one. Arbor... Um... Arbor... Tree? Ugh. It's nothing good anyway. He'll judge and criticize you while pretending to be the good guy. It sounds like he wants you to return Dodoko. How could this be? Dodoko is my bestest friend, so I'll never give Dodoko to him. But he said he's the strongest of the Dodo clan. Hmm. Could the Dodo clan be Dodoko's family? From the names, it seems like it. But Klee, where is this golden apple <laughs> archipelago? I'm still impressed that Klee knows the word archipelago. I don't know. What? Uh, this is also the first time Klee has heard of the golden apple archipelago. Golden apple archipelago. Hmm. It's probably an island with lots of apples. She even <laughs> knows that an archipelago is an island. She's actually a very smart girl. Uh, written on the letter were what Klee just read out to us. And there's no signature. Klee, did this letter come with an envelope? Nope. Nope. <laughs> where was this letter sent from? I don't know. It suddenly appeared on my room's windowsill. That's suspicious. Dodo King, Dodo Clan. If Paimon remembers correctly, Dodo Ko is the toy. It's not a toy. Dodoko is my bestest friend, not some toy. Yeah, don't make Klee angry, Paimon. Oh, oh, right. What a magical creature Dodoko is. Uh, but all this sudden talk about family and whatnot is pretty strange. It feels like it might be a prank. I also suspect it's a prank. If it's just a prank, then we should ignore it. No. No, no way. I'll never admit defeat. I have to go there. But we've never even heard of such a place. Miss Honorary Knight, you know what to do, right? Oh my gosh, the, those me. eyes. We can't say no. Even if we did know what to do. I'm begging you, please, please help me. Paimon feels like 
like if we don't agree to help, she'll go off on her own. That'd be dangerous. No, I think Klee can solo this pretty, pretty well. Uh, indeed. Rather than letting Klee go adventuring off by herself, it'd be better if we accompany her. All right, Paimon, I'm down. Oh, please, please. I'll help you. Uh, how can we say no after seeing you try so hard? But since we're going together, you need to be well behaved and not run off by yourself. And we're bringing Jean too, right? Okay. As per usual, let's start by asking around for some info. Let's walk around the city and ask some people who might know something about the situation. Please be quiet within the premises. Big boy Cyrus. Cyrus we want to ask you about a place. You'll know it, won't you? Won't you? Oh, <laughs> the little adventurer looks troubled. Have you all encountered some sort of problem? Very, very big problem, Cyrus. Uh, you could say that. Basically, we want to find a certain archipelago, but it seems no one's ever even heard of it. So we came here to ask you, a seasoned adventurer. Seasoned adventurer. Suddenly so charming, Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> if you seek unknown lands or adventuring knowledge, then you've come to the right man. What kind of archipelago are you all looking for? It has lots of small islands on the sea. <laughs> that's not much it's to go off of. The Golden Apple Archipelago. There we go, that's better. Golden Apple Archipelago. Uh, um, hmm. <laughs> You're all amazing! You've managed to find a place that even I, the Great Cyrus, haven't heard of! What? Even you don't know of it? Indeed, indeed! The land of Tevat is immense! No person can walk its entire breadth! But do not fear, dear friends! You must have the courage to venture into the unknown! Could it be that these islands don't exist? You sure sounded confident a moment ago. <laughs> uh, come now. <laughs> don't be like that. <laughs> don't be like that. <laughs> How can this be? No. Don't cry, oh, Klee. Dodoko. Marjorie here might have heard some strange things. After all, souvenirs do come in all shapes and sizes from a variety of places. Majorgie is standing right next to us. Why are you? Why don't you just say that to her? Strange things. What do you mean? Do you know about the Golden Apple Archipelago? It's made up of lots of small islands and located somewhere in the sea. Such a great description. <laughs> Aren't all archipelagos made of small islands and situated at sea? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, right. Uh, then let Paimon ask a different question. Are there archipelagos in Mondstadt? Not as far as I know. You've seen a map of Mondstadt, haven't you? All known islands are already charted, so check it out. Generally speaking, maps will faithfully record the land's topography. For most people, if it's not on a map, it doesn't exist. Mondstadt's map doesn't show any, so that must mean there are none. A place that doesn't exist? Ugh, sounds about right. She's so surprised. Oh, how could that be? Uh, no, no, no! Uh, Paimon meant that we should go find other people to ask. Mr. Huffman, do what you is know Huffman gonna know? <laughs> this is probably the worst person to ask. I feel like it's on the sea. A golden apple archipelago on the sea? Uh, this is the first I've heard of it. Are the islands that grow many apples? Wow. Astute observation, Huffman. Mm, so you also don't know? Well, given that Huffman's always just patrolling the city... <laughs> That's kind of like a low-key burn. <sighs> I do apologize. It's okay. I forgive you. Clee, he wasn't actually apologizing. Huh? <laughs> really? Uh, let's go ask someone else. That was our last person. Looks like the people of Mondstadt don't know anything about the place in this letter. Feels more and more like a prank to me. 
Klee, is there anyone you can think of that you don't get along with? Who wouldn't get along with Klee? Who'd write a letter to scare you? No, I love everyone very much, and everyone loves Klee. See, very even much. she knows. Klee <laughs> mm, thinks so too. So it can't be a prank. No one would prank Klee. Mm, it's not a prank. Yet no one knows where these islands are. Ugh, this is getting more and more confusing. Is there someone even more knowledgeable we could ask? Yes, Jean. Knowledgeable. <gasps> right! We should ask Lisa oh. about this kind of thing. Lisa, She's right. She's at the library, the librarian. every day and has probably read every book in Mondstadt. Oh, Miss Lisa. Let's go to the library. Oh, well, if it isn't Cutie, Paimon, and Klee, what brings you to the library all of a sudden? There's something we want to ask you. Oh, Miss Lisa, can you help Klee find an arch archipelago? An archipelago? Klee, you were just fluently saying that word, like, so many times before. <laughs> Dodo King told Klee to go to the Golden Apple Archipelago so he can challenge Klee. Don't worry, Klee. Let Paimon explain. Lisa, it's like this. Let me get this straight. To determine if Klee is worthy of becoming Dodoko's family, the ruler of the Dodo clan, Dodo King, wrote a letter to Klee summoning her to this Golden Apple Archipelago to be judged. Does that sum it up? Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yes, I have to go. And you, cuties, sought me out to help Klee find the location of this Golden Apple Archipelago. That's Correct. right. You're one of the smartest people in Mondstadt. Smooth. <laughs> How sweet of you to say. Then I have no choice but to assist you in earnest. Klee, can you show me that letter? Okay. Hmm. Though there's little information written upon the letter, have you all tried any other methods? Other methods? Yeah, what do you mean by that? <laughs> the letter contains faint elemental traces that seem more like a hint than anything else. Maybe try using your elemental sight. All right! Why didn't we think of that? Let's Come on, Paimon. You're supposed to be our guide. You should have suggested that first. Did you find anything? Something appeared on the back of the letter. Most of the content on the reverse page was applied via elemental power. What an interesting approach. Here's a pen. Cutie, can I trouble you to copy down what you see with your elemental sight? Done! It's the archipelago! The information on the reverse page is now clear. This drawing is likely of the Golden Apple Archipelago you've been looking for. A ton of small islands floating by themselves in the water without being anchored to any land. It's almost like they popped up from the seabed. Like they appeared out of thin air. Hmm. Pyron, <laughs> That's Mihoyo's right. canon explanation for why we couldn't explore this place before and why it's going to go away. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean. I've read every single book within this library's walls. Similar islands have been mentioned in some of them. A mysterious archipelago enveloped by storms and dense fog, belonging to no nation. That which is outside cannot enter, nor can anything inside leave. Only those who are chosen may enter its territory. Many years ago, a fleet from Mondstadt encountered some islands at sea. Reportedly, there were torrential rains and howling winds. The sailors could hardly discern land through the thick fog. The islands weren't far, but no matter how much they sailed, they never grew closer. The sailors were initially confused, but then became terrified, as they believed they were hallucinating. The way she's talking is like straight from like a storybook or something. It doesn't sound natural. Whoa. But talk about she's a librarian. And creepy. Of course she would talk like that. Unfortunately, the books do not record the location of these islands. I'm afraid that if you want more information, you'll have to find someone more knowledgeable More than, than you? Aw, and Paimon thought Lisa would be the expert on this kind of thing. I just noticed that Klee has a huge head compared to the Traveler. 
<laughs> I am but a librarian who prefers to stay inside with her books. Klee, do you really want to go to those islands? It might be a very scary place. Yes, I want to go. <laughs> My, how brave. Far be it from me to scare a child. But Klee, you really should take someone with you, just in case. Someone reliable, like my cutie over here. Klee, you're not scared? I'm scared, but not being able to be Dodoko's family is even scarier. Dodoko is very important to me. I won't lose to Dodokin. I'll need to ask for some time off so I can <laughs> go to the Golden Apple. She needs some time Dodo off. <laughs> and find Dodokin. She's a full time Favonius Knight. We forgot about that. Time off? That's right. I'm a knight of Favonius. Master Jean told me that if Klee wants to go someplace far, then she has to ask for time off. You're going to ask for time off. Now? We still don't even know where these islands are. Cutie, judging by the look on your face, you have an idea, don't you? I have some impressive friends in Mondstadt. It'll be up to you to get Jean's approval. I'll stay here and silently I can just bring Lisa out of spite, put her in my party. Some tea. Master Jean, I want to ask for some time off because I want to go somewhere. Klee? Oh, and it's the honorary knight in Paimon as well. It's been a while, everyone. How have you been? Hey, Barbara. Barbara's also here? How rare. Not for me. I think I have her at C10. Did we interrupt a sisterly moment? <clears throat> oh, uh, of course not. Klee, why are you requesting time off all of a sudden? Klee is going to the Golden Apple Archipelago to meet the Dodo King, or else... Or else, he'll take Dodoko away. Dodo King? Take Dodoko away? <laughs> he doesn't think that Klee is worthy of being part of Dodoko's family. I need to prove myself. Miss Honorary Knight will help me, right? Traveler, Paimon, is this so? Klee spoke the truth. <laughs> Why am I saying it like that? <laughs> I've never heard of the Golden Apple Archipelago. Where is it? I've also never heard of it. Me either. But Miss Lisa said that someone must know. So it's a place that even Lisa doesn't know? Yes, but I have a hunch. I see. From what you say, it seems to be quite a mysterious place. <sighs> I sincerely apologize, but I cannot approve Knight Klee's request what? for time off. Why? Huh? But why? I must go! Even if these mysterious islands do exist, we cannot determine if they are safe or not. I cannot allow you to journey into a potentially dangerous place. We're talking about Klee here, Jean. But... If I don't go, Dodoko will be taken. In a way, I, I don't want to lose Dodoko. Oh, Klee. Moreover, how do you intend to reach the islands? Without a safe and reliable plan drawn up, I'm afraid I cannot give you my approval. Oh. You're gonna make her cry, Dodoko. Jean. Psst. Honorary knight. Huh? Is Barbara winking at me? Outside. <laughs> that wink. Can you think of a way to get to the islands? Venti might know a way. I even also thought of him just now. We're on the same wavelength as ex Venti? Oh, he's a magical bard that Paimon calls Tone Deaf Bard. Can he help me? Of course. He's our friend, so he'll definitely help. If he's a friend of the Honorary Knights, then things will work out for sure. We all know how reliable the Honorary Knight is. Oh, well, thank you. How about this? I'll try to persuade Master Jean. You all know she's a serious person, so I think it might take some time. Klee, trust me, okay? I'll do everything I can to help you. Okay, I can wait. <laughs> Wonderful. Tomorrow afternoon, let's all meet at the plaza outside the cathedral. I'm sure I'll have some good news. Just leave it to me. You're so dependable. Do your best, Barbara. We're all here now! Oh, everyone! Over here! Miss Honorary Knight, Paimon! Greetings. 
Oh, Master Sheen is also here. Yes, it's a long story. Wow, Barbara, you, you did it, huh? Barbara and Lisa have both spoken to me, and there is something that I've realized. Regardless if I approve it or not, Klee will go where she wants to anyway. This is how it has always been. I'm glad you have finally seen that, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> we all know Klee. Rather than have her run headlong into danger, it's better to agree to her request. Night, Klee. Your request for leave has been approved. Wow, I am so excited! However, there are conditions. In exchange, I will be accompanying everyone to this letter's Golden Apple Archipelago. As for the night's affairs, I have entrusted them to Kaya. It's the beach episode for Genshin Impact. Work has been busy and I shouldn't leave, but I wouldn't be able to stop worrying about Klee. So, please allow me to travel with you. Yes, of course. Alright! There won't be any problems if You know what would be awesome if they actually us? gave us Jean to play during the event? That would this be so is, cool. Uh, I mean, Master Jean also suggested that I come along. Barbados forbid. But I can assist if someone needs medical treatment ah. during your journey. Or bring Barbara along too. So lucky to have Barbara too. All right, we gotta add her to the party. Where is Barbara, Master Jean? You two are so nice. I promise I'll behave. Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. Clee, you always say that. I hope you will abide by your words this time. Uh. <laughs> Lisa heard that I wanted to accompany everyone to the islands, so she prepared this pouch. Supposedly, opening it will reveal a new way. New way? You mean a way to keep Klee out of trouble? She said not to open it until we've reached the islands. I think it might be something to use in case of an emergency. Uh, as expected of Miss Lisa, she's been thinking of us this whole time. Anyway, our next step is to find the bard, right? I just asked the people nearby. They said that he hasn't performed at the square today and that he likely went to Windrise. What are we waiting for? Let's head to Windrise and find Tone Deaf Bard! Fenty, we found you! Hmm? If so many people are looking for me, then I suppose it is something important. Venti, do you know of the Golden Apple Archipelago? This is the map of the islands. Ah, oh, yes. That place. <laughs> Congratulations! You of course found you would the know. right person. Wow, wow, wow! You really do know! So, now they're called the Golden Apple Archipelago, huh? They used to be known as the Har Islands. They're located on a stretch of sea that's particularly difficult for the average person to reach. Not to mention, the area has strong storms and thick fog year-round. Ships can hardly approach the island, let alone dock. Why do you guys wish to go there? Yes, yeah, so how are we gonna get there? Uh, anyway, yeah, because we have to save Dodo Cole. I'm going there to meet Dodo King. He said he wants to test Klee to see if she's qualified to be Dodo Cole's family. Hmm. Are you nervous? A little, but I will not give in. Master Tone Deaf Bard, you must help us! <laughs> she just called him Tone Deaf Bard. Master Tone Deaf Bard? <laughs> Interesting. Paimon. I like it. You're a bad influence. Is this Paimon's fault? Yes. Fear not. Since you wish it so, Master Tone Deaf Bard will lend a helping hand. Could you really help us? <laughs> of course! In this world, what is more pure and free than the wish of a child? What a beautiful sound! Huh? Is the wind picking up? Is he gonna friggin' blast us to the islands? Wait just a moment. He'll be here soon. Oh my god, it's Storm Terror, isn't he? He's gonna fly uh, us there. That's... So don't tell anyone else. What are the four winds? Oh, my dear poet, you have my utmost gratitude for the aid you have provided. I'm trying us. to remember who knows that Venti is the <laughs> the Archon. I think Barbara doesn't know, but Jean does. The acting grandmaster sure is formal. We knew you'd have a way, Venti. <laughs> what wonderful expressions you all have! I'll see you off here. May the winds bless your travels.
There are no seat belts on Storm Terror. This is as far as I go. Oh my gosh, he's got a voice. It would be cumbersome for me to proceed further. Please exercise caution. Hmm? Probably ever, Barbara. <laughs> My heart won't stop pounding. <sighs> Is everyone all right? <sighs> yes, I'm fine. Big Sif. We don't talk about Master that, Jean? Barbara. Just we don't talk about it. Who is that bard? Well, uh, he's a legendary bard of exceptional musical talent who can use his lyre to call forth all manner of creatures. <laughs> all manner of creatures. Whoa. Even Master Jean is pretty quick on the spot. A necessary skill for managing subordinates. Oh, what an impressive person. She, she's just gonna buy it. We must properly thank him when we return. Of course. Agreed. In any case, what are these islands? The weather is dreadful, the fog is thick, and visibility is low. Just like Lisa said. Oh, this is a crappy beach episode. We should be extra careful. Traveler, Paimon. What else does the letter say? Oh, Hannah remembers. It read, Wicked Girl of Flame, I am of the Dodo Clan as its overlord. In the name of Dodo King, you are not qualified to become Dodoko's new family. Unless... Unless you bring Dodoko to the Golden Apple Archipelago, light the four beacons, and knock upon the Trialist Gate to accept your challenge. Four beacons? Does that mean he wants us to find something that emits light? Now that you mention it, doesn't it seem like it's a little less foggy here than the surrounding area? Looking carefully, that indeed appears to be the case. Could the clearing of the fog be related to this device? It's a teleporter. Don't you think it looks familiar? Pretty similar to the portable waypoints we've used before. Crafting portable waypoints requires luminescent spines, so they can also function as a source of light. So if this device here seems like it can dissipate fog, maybe it's a similar kind of device. I think so too. Light four beacons and knock upon the trialist gate. Hmm. What will happen after we light Let's up Let's stop all four talking beacons? and just go do it. There's already one lit device here. It appears that we need to find the other three and light them up as well. Huh? What's that? Hey, Wait, where are you going? Come on, us? Ugh, come on, catch up to her. It looks like something's down there. Let's take a closer look. A boat? Hmm. How convenient. It looks as if someone has been awaiting our arrival. Are we really supposed to sail in such terrible weather? I'm afraid that appears to be the intention. Everyone, everything about these islands is a mystery. <sighs> Regardless of what lies ahead, please proceed with utmost caution. I am so curious as to the why. <laughs> what is the why? How are they going to wrap this up? <gasps> this is lame. I don't have a... We, don't, we didn't bring any bow users with us. How unimmersive. <laughs> the fog's gone. Oh, it's actually pretty scenic here. It's pretty nice. The four beacons have been lit, but we still don't know what trials may lie ahead. <sighs> the weather's so nice. I know we can't afford to drop our guard, but I can't help but enjoy the summer. I want to catch fish. Let's go fish blasting. Klee, this isn't Mondstadt. Please be careful. Oh, I understand. Paimon, after we deal with Dodo King together, we can go catch some fish. Okay, sure. Whatever you say. Who or what exactly is Dodo King? You seem concerned. Yes, it is also my first time here. 
This may not sound fair to Klee, but my primary duty is to protect everyone. Finding this overlord is secondary. Also, the sudden appearance of this letter, these islands that are inaccessible by ordinary people, it's too much of a coincidence. Why would this sort of invitation be sent to a child? I'm thinking the same thing, Jean. It's truly unbelievable. I also mustn't be careless. Well, what are we all waiting for? Let's start exploring the area. Carefree and ready to explore. Classic Paimon. Paimon's right. We should take advantage of the clear weather to reassess our situation. Leave it on a mysterious island. I have no worries as long as you're here. <sighs> so, should we go swimming first? <laughs> <sighs> Barbara is always happy-go-lucky when she sees such beautiful scenery. Traveler, please feel free to explore. I'll be at the ready if there is any sign of danger. I hope this no, you're coming with me. Much trouble. Oh, we got the beach attire now. <laughs> so, how do we look? I didn't see any luggage on Storm Terror's back. How'd you guys get this? <laughs> we changed into summer clothes. Although we didn't come here to have fun, we don't want to miss out on a beautiful summer day by the sea. Uh, this doesn't look weird, does it? Oh, she's getting embarrassed. <sighs> Such light and summery clothing definitely doesn't suit me. <laughs> uh... Pardon me. You look marvelous. Really? <sighs> Thank you, Traveler. It's surprising that Master Jean would specially pack summer clothes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. My big sister would never pack these herself. Lisa and I picked them out for her. Ah, of course. Learning how big sister and not even realizing it? Barbara's drunk on summer already. There's quite a story behind these summer clothes. I thought Lisa's pouch was to be used for an emergency. I didn't oh, expect it to contain a set of summer clothing. That's what it was. All these accessories, too. Definitely Lisa's handiwork. Everyone in the Knights of Favonius is always trying to have me take leave. I suppose I do push myself too much. You do You do deserve a vacation. Everyone, come over here. Clee. That's Clee's voice. I saw something weird. Huh? What's going on? What do you mean by something weird? Look at the ocean. See? There's something weird floating on the water. That narrow device. It seems to be a buoy. But we didn't see anything when we arrived here yesterday. <gasps> Dodo King must have put them there. <laughs> of course. Strange it's always devices Dodo King. that disappear overnight? Something doesn't add up. Well, since he hasn't revealed himself to us, does that mean he's changed his mind? Or maybe... Maybe these buoys are a clue and he's waiting for me to find him. So could that be why these buoys have suddenly appeared? Let's take a closer look and find out. Right. We won't solve anything by guessing on shore. Is it okay to go out there, though? Perhaps. But we must investigate the buoys regardless. It's hard to say what will be waiting for us at sea. Just in case, prepare yourselves for combat. We've already explored this entire area, Jean. Don't worry. We got this. Once you are ready, please assemble here, and we'll head over on the boat together. She's reliable even in summer wear. Uh, not at all. This is just my duty. Now then, I'll entrust the preparation efforts to all of you. What could those buoys possibly mean? About your summer uh, clothes. Uh, Summer clothes. They're, uh... They were a surprise that Lisa prepared for me. My guess is that it was originally Barbara's suggestion. Barbara said that it's so rare for us to get a chance to come to an island, we should change into summer clothing to set the atmosphere. However, I'm not used to this style of clothing. <sighs> I hope wearing this doesn't look too odd. <sighs> What could those buoys possibly mean? About this These archipelago. These islands are isolated from the outside world. 
like a secret domain crafted by nature itself. We were guided here by the letter, and with the assistance of Venti and Devalin. Everything seems a bit too serendipitous. I'm a little concerned, but I'm here to protect you all, so please don't worry. Come what may, I will face it head on. We need to switch to our cannon team. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Hey, Barbara. Is there anything I can do? About your summer clothes. Oh, look. Not bad, right? I wanted to surprise everyone, so I specifically chose an outfit complimenting an island atmosphere. Oh, but Oh my gosh, the little worry. duck purse Even is if I'm so cute. Clothes, I'm still just as reliable in battle. Hmm? Is there anything I can oh, I just want to say that the ocean here is beautiful. Sea and sun. Oh, a summer dream come true. I really want to have a seaside performance. It would be amazing. I just know it. Hi, Clee. I need to bring Jumpy Dumpties, Dodoko, and myself. About summer. I like summer, but not just summer. I also like fall. Oh, yes. And I also like spring. And <laughs> she loves everything. Even the winter's very Oh, my cold. gosh. The little clap the was adorable. Whenever I feel cold, I blow something up. I need to bring Jack about the Dumpy. buoys. The Dodo King must have placed those things in the ocean. He's a bad guy. But I will bravely face him and do my best for Dodoko. Miss Honorary Knight, thank you for helping me. Oh, no problem. All right, we've talked to everybody. Have you finished your preparations? I'm ready. Great. Then let's head to the boat. Oh no. Why? Oh, full cutscene. The sound. Oh, the water level. Getting, we're getting more land. I, I guess it would have been pretty lame if the archipelago was just those small islands. So this is pretty cool. What's happening? Wow, they look so good animated, <laughs> especially in those clothes. Opposite, Barbara. <laughs> do the king, do the king. I'm gonna oh my gosh, you. look at her face. <laughs> Looks like Kree's as energetic as ever. Before the ground started shaking, I heard the sound of machinery. I believe there may be an immense mechanical structure under this region of the ocean. With the entire archipelago situated on a mechanical framework, it could be activated to raise each island from beneath the water. 
Oh, okay, I guess Barbara was right. The water level didn't go down. <laughs> the islands actually did come up. Something Whoops. like that would be nothing short of a miracle. Could it be the power of the Animo Archon Barbados? I guess that would make sense. The water level shouldn't go down, otherwise it would go down everywhere. Hmm, probably not. Paimon feels like this is more likely a deliberate setup. It's incredible no matter how you think of it. Using a letter to draw us here, and these challenges involving various mechanisms. <sighs> the so-called Dodo King is yeah, no amateur. Yeah, freaking Dodo King, man. I agree with you, Jean. Aww. There goes the holiday mood. Hmm. No time for vacation. Well, either way, I will do my best to remain vigilant. Wow. Master Jean's so cool when she's determined. Paimon and I will also exercise increased caution. Thank you for your understanding. I found him! It's Dodo King! He's over there on that island! <laughs> gotcha! You wanted Klee to come find you, so here Klee comes! Jumpy Dumpties, get ready! Let's go! Is that a platform in the middle of the ocean? Something has appeared. Everyone, we can take a closer look, but please be on guard. Wow, and monsters just, just, they just spawn, huh? <laughs> they just come out of nowhere, huh? Everyone, please be careful. Huh? Is it just Paimon? Or is that a really tall person? It resembles a human, but something's not quite right. Dodo King, I see you! You can, uh... <laughs> Arbitrarily? Arbitrate. Arbitrate! Right! You can arbitrate Klee! Uh, what is this kid saying? She obviously doesn't understand what that word means. <laughs> hey, Dodo King! Why are you ignoring me? Is it because I took too long and made you angry? Then I'm sorry. Huh? And now she's apologizing. Oh, didn't see that coming. Hello, Dodo King? It looks like they're not interested in Klee at all. It's some kind of humanoid machine. No response. It must be damaged. Oh, do you recognize it? It's freaking scary looking. I'm surprised Klee isn't afraid. No, I can only guess. It looks completely out of place on this island. Look at its clothes. Huh, it appears like it came from Inazuma. Mm -hmm. Inazuma? But isn't that really far away? So this machine isn't from around here. It would appear so. This area of the sea is independent and does not border any country, so it certainly seems out of place here. But given Inazuma's current situation, how could something Man, like this so occur? many mysteries. An abandoned machine? Weird. Did someone bring it here? They really be setting up for 2.0 in Inazuma right oh, now. No, Dodo King isn't moving anymore. Klee, maybe Dodo King is tired. Right, right. The Dodo King is probably asleep. He was waiting so patiently for you, and then... Ah, nap time. Let's go with Klee to play elsewhere and come back once Dodo King wakes up. Really? Of course. No, I get it now. This isn't Dodo King. The real Dodo King is somewhere else. Good job, Klee. You did it. Huh. Is that right? <laughs> I won't give up. Dodo King, just wait. We'll find you. This is not the true Dodo King. And there she goes. <laughs> she just goes off on Again. her own. Oh, she's got a lot of spirit. Look here. Huh? What's this? Look at these stacked up stones and small flowers. It feels like a memorial for someone. You're very perceptive, Barbara. Hey, you're embarrassing me. Hmm. But the only other thing around here is that machine in Inazuman clothing. 
Oh, could the memorial be for the machine? What it once was? Uh, perhaps it once performed some deed that merited a memorial. Hmm. Everything we've seen here indicates that there was once a human presence in these waters. Still, there isn't enough for us to infer what kind of civilization Yeah, it that's was. kind of what the conscious have been <sighs> telling us. We still have yet to see any people or gravestones. Master Jean, can I go over there and have a look? Yes, but be careful. Okay. How many secrets do these islands hold? Clea's too young to have a proper sense of danger. Traveler, the rest of us must stay alert to the situation. Honestly speaking, I thought that letter was only a prank at first. We all did. That's what we thought! I suspected as much too, but who would send a prank letter to a child? A letter that guides us to activate mechanisms on a deserted archipelago. It's bizarre. It makes me wonder whether this isn't some kind of trap long in the making. We must keep our guard up. Miss Barbara? Clee, what's wrong? Do you think that Doro King doesn't want to see Clee? <laughs> Why would the Dodo King not want to see you, Klee? Dodoko loves me, and and I love Dodoko, so Dodo King can never separate us. That's why Dodo King doesn't want to see us. <laughs> Klee doesn't want him to separate us. <laughs> hey, Klee, do you know what this is? <gasps> it's a heart pastome. I heard my big si Master Jean say that Klee always wanted to play Harpastum, right? Yeah, Klee was just thinking about Lady Harpastum. I made this Harpastum especially for you. Now, every day can be Lady Harpastum. <laughs> Yay! The kindness of a Decanus. So keep your chin up, Klee. After we meet Dodo King, we can all help you convince him to let you and Dodo Co stay together. Okay. Let's double our efforts. We have to find him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it to us, Klee. This dodo jerk can't hide forever. Hey, 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 hey. That's a little too okay, much, Paimon. It's a thousand years and a thousand searches. Uh, we'll get him. A thousand years? <laughs> what is up with that reaction, Paimon? But until then, let's have a good look around the area. Honorary night. Honorary night. Oh boy, look at this POV. Huh? You're awake. Morning. Did you have a good rest? What happened to your swimsuit? Huh? Barbara, you're... Good morning, traveler. You're both out of your swimsuits. Jean, your clothes. Why did you change back? Well, this is a complex and evolving situation, so we should be ready for any eventuality. For security reasons, we changed back into more combat oh my ready gosh. attire. She's talking, but I just can't get over how adorable Klee is. Even though it may not allow us to make the most of the surroundings. My apologies. Oh, don't apologize. It's in everyone's best interest. Well, that certainly takes the fun out of things. <sighs> back to work already. Ladies and gentlemen, the Knights of Favonius Acting Grandmaster. Impressive willpower. Good job, Jean. You're too kind. Actually, I think we could learn a lot more from your talents. That's why we can place so much trust in you. We didn't want to wake you, but I noticed some white smoke coming from one of the other islands. I think it'd be best if we went and investigated it together. It must be Dodo King! Oh, even Paimon's starting to believe that this Dodo King might actually show up. I'm also keen to lay eyes on this so-called Dodo King. All of you, follow me. Let's investigate. Look, there are two figures over there. Dude, I saw as we were approaching. It was Kaya and Deluc. What are they doing here? Huh? It looks like. Hmm. Hmm. What the heck are they doing here? <laughs> what the heck? It's Kaya and the weird grown up. <laughs> weird grown up. Huh? I had no idea we'd run into you here. An unexpected pleasure. Wait, Kaya. What are you two doing here? You're supposed to be the acting, acting grandmaster. 
So it's not Dodo King? Kai just ditched hmm. his duties. Dodo King. Huh. So it was Dodo King that invited you to these islands. What a coincidence. Oh, don't what tell do me. Mean? I'll get to that. But first, I want to enjoy some more of this island sunshine. Master D. Luke might actually get a tan. <laughs> Wait, did you two sail here? How did you get past the storms and fog? Storms and fog? We must have gotten lucky. When we arrived, there wasn't a patch of fog in sight. Now it feels like I'm on vacation. We cleared all of it. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. We had no choice but to use the same method of transport you did. Huh? You mean Devalin carried you here too? You seem surprised. Dragon flights are a fairly conspicuous affair. Eye-catching, one could say. Wait, so everyone found out that I... <laughs> it would seem that people noticed a dragon, but not necessarily the cargo. Still, word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. Oh, thank goodness. Who knew that everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons? Oh, jeez, has he discovered that Venti is? I guess Devalin must be a diehard fan of classical ballads. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being dumb or not. Wow. I know, we know that Barbara is, is dense. <laughs> I... I assume you two traveled here together? <laughs> you assume? The acting Grandmaster's jokes have improved of late. Do we seem like fitting travel companions to you? <laughs> there were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered really? off for various reasons. Who? Various reasons? Let's just say that big egos aren't conducive to team cohesion. So, you mean they abandoned you? <laughs> An incisive observation. Nothing ever gets past the honorary knight. So, who were the two others? Albedo and Razor. Oh, what? Huh? Albedo and Razor? <laughs> Yay! Akli's favorite people. Don't tell us you all came here for a vacation. Wait, Kaya, if you're here, who is overseeing the Knights of Favonius? Yeah, I mentioned that. I'm wondering that too. The mighty librarian Lisa, of course. Okay, so he delegated. Not to worry. In some ways, she's stricter than either of us. Any evildoers in Mondstadt need to watch out for the next several days. Thankfully, Lisa's there. Um, where did Albedo and Razor go? Also, what was that white smoke I just saw? Ah, uh, yes. That. I should start with how we ended up here. We arrived by dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. He jumped straight off of the dragon's back and vanished <laughs> into the ocean. Razor would do that. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the dragon and glided onto this island. But as you can see, this is but a deserted land. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact. While D. Luke believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us. During our little dispute, Albedo quietly disappeared on us. Must have found something he's more interested in. Hold on! How come he was able to walk off, but you two are stuck here? Yeah, was he able to find a boat, that wave fighter summoning point? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps we're fated to be doomed together. Right, Master D. Luke? Is that so? Albedo is an alchemist and skilled at his craft. If I could use those beautiful artificial flowers of his, it would be a simple affair to traverse these islands. For some reason, I remember that our initial landing zone was the island over there with the higher mountains. Only at your insistence did we change course and land here. Oh my. But your footsteps oh, melted here they the go. water that I took such effort to freeze. Who made Cryo and Pyro so incompatible? If you had a geovision, I'd be long asleep on one of the other islands. Oh, so what I saw earlier was just steam from vaporized water? Pyro still can't tell if you guys are really close <laughs> or hate each other's guts. Uh, regardless... Things seem to be livelier now, which is good. Yes, it is a boon to have extra allies in an unknown situation. You two, please join our travels. Sure. But of course. Our top priority is to find Albedo and Razor. 
Do you know which direction they went? Dude, this island is so small, unless they found a boat. For now, it's impossible to locate Razor. As for Albedo, he went that way. Then there's no time to lose. Let's go look for him. Oh, this island is really big. Where could he be? Albedo! Mr. Albedo! Albedo, come out! Hmm? Is that the Traveler and Paimon? Hello, everyone. Hello, Klee. He saw us. That's why he came over. I thought that we might convene around this time. I trust you enjoyed your stroll. How kind of you to maroon us on that neighboring island. Yeah, how did Albedo get over here? <laughs> he found a boat. Oh, please, don't mention it. I felt that the two of you could do with some alone time. Albedo, why did you come here? I received a letter. On the way over, the four of us shared what we knew. A mysterious letter appeared outside each of our doors. They were all signed Dodo King. <laughs> Actually, they got the same letter. Did anyone else find it hard not to crack a smile when Master D. Luke says Dodo King? I thought it'd at least be like disguised for each character. Everyone's letter was different. And yet all of them drew us to this archipelago. What did the letter say? My letter was very simple. I have Klee. If you wish to see her, come to the Golden Apple Archipelago. Oh my gosh. What a bastard. Oh, that's blackmail. Dodo King's trying to coerce you. Correct. It would appear that I have been successfully coerced. Oh, but Albedo did everything he did to come and save Klee. My letter was similarly straightforward. Among the deserted islands, you will find a sunken pirate ship. Within lies great treasure and long-lost antique vases of incredible rarity. <laughs> it would appear that someone came to learn of the circumstances surrounding the eye patch that my grandfather left me. Classic Kaya. Does anyone have a clue what he's talking about? Nope, I got nothing. Anyway, so what's your story, D. Luke? There is an abyss order stronghold among the deserted islands. <laughs> Make haste. His sense of justice, of course. You have to admire their strategy. The right bait for the right fish. So strange. They're all personalized. But why did Dodo King gather everyone here? Okay, so they were personalized, but they still he still signed it as freaking Dodo King. <sighs> this is indeed a mysterious case. I never trusted the letter to begin with. Yes, it would appear that the grown-ups among us came here primarily to understand what was behind the curtain. <gasps> Didn't Razor get a letter too? He did, though he couldn't read it. A certain kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman that he encountered on the way over was able to relay the contents to him. A kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman? On the way over? Oh, Paimon knows! Paimon knows! It must be Drift, right? The content of Razor's letter was no more complex. The Red Bernie girl has gone to the islands. She needs help. Having heard the contents of the letters, it became abundantly clear that something wasn't right. I don't believe this so-called Dodo King exists. But there is someone or something with a reason for luring us here together. No, no! Dodo King is real! He's... he's Dodo King! <sighs> if you say so. Something caught Razor's attention on the journey over. Or he wouldn't have leaped from the dragon's back. I've examined this island. His footprints are nowhere to be found. And there's no sign of a boat having left. Based on our position and bearing when he made the jump, if he didn't land here, then he must have made his way over there. That platform. You've already been there? We were there a few days ago. There was a mysterious machine. Jean said that it came from Inazuma. Hmm. Could that be what caught Razor's attention? Uh, everyone, let's head to the central platform. Look, over there! Razor! Damn, look at this party. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Klee. <laughs> so adorable. I'm just gonna let this play out. Everyone. 
I am here. Razor, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need healing? No need. Okay. What are you doing here? I smelled something. This give to you. He freaking survived the jump from What's Devalon's this? back. Is this a part of the machine? Clear smell. Same as letter. Hmm. Razor did mention that his letter had a peculiar smell. You sure have a great sense of smell, Razor. Oh, did Dodo King factor that in too? Also, this one and that one? <laughs> Same smell. Oh? This thing? Put inside metal person. Same. Here. You want me to do it? <laughs> yes. I don't understand how. Traveler is clever. Razor trusts. Yeah, Kree trusts the honor. What is he giving to too? us? Not so fast. We need to think this through. What will happen if we reinsert the missing component? Giant boss battle. Let us use all of these characters, Mihoyo. This Inazuman machine could well be something that Dodo King left here for us to find and activate. It might reawaken Dodo King himself. Then we will be ready for him. Honorary Knight, prepare yourself. We really wanted to meet Dodo King. That's why we came here, right? You're right. Let's do this. Wait. Did it? Did oh boy. It Boss battle. Oh. Oh, he's like a, he's a puppet. He did a lot of damage. <laughs> Come on, we can do it. I'll protect us. I I'm not really prepared here. I didn't I didn't equip artifacts onto the cannon team. <laughs> this might be bad. Treasures. Are those crystals? We should ask the ex oh, let's expert. Oh, faith in me is not misplaced. Before we get to the crystals, well, why don't we start with the machine itself? Our previous conjecture was correct. This giant in Inazuman attire is a machine modeled on the human form. All the adults just let Klee take care of the thing. <laughs> was it built for fighting? Like ruin guards? I'm afraid so. Possesses significant combat capabilities and seems to be autonomous. But for it to attack us indiscriminately like this, I believe it must have been damaged some time ago. Its outward appearance confirms its Inazuman origin. But as far as I know, they're judging the Inazuma book by a cover. Under the Sakaku decree. How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? That's the mystery. It seems the answer to that question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this archipelago. Oh yeah, we've been listening to those conscious. I'm sure the shrewdest among you have already come to the same conclusion. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. Mm -hmm. I would go so far as to infer that this archipelago once held a human population. They were most likely visitors from elsewhere. Not indigenous to the islands. Albedo's a smart they dude. They have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. Since then, the island has been empty, with only a few scattered remnants of the past. He got As all for this. The crystals. And he just got here. Hmm. They've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore. Transparent. I believe they must have a specific function. We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? It sounds like someone wanted to commemorate the machine. Oh, yeah. Yes, I had a look at it myself. Uh, how can I put it? It almost feels like someone left a heartfelt offering of gratitude. Hmm. I see. There's something behind this machine. And what about the rest of you? It's like not what all machine. To commemorate a machine in this way, perhaps someone who was truly grateful. Only people that had benefited directly from the machine would leave a memorial like this. 
If the machine coexisted with that first group of humans, then the memorial isn't so hard to understand. Of course, this is only a hypothesis. Coexisted? You mean before it became damaged? Hmm, I wonder what exactly happened to it. Did it protect them, maybe? Hmm. There is a hilly chill presence here. Perhaps this machine's indiscriminate attack is actually supposed to be targeted at hilly chills. Mm, me and Deluke on the same the wavelength. An unlikely coincidence, I would have thought. In any case, this is all speculation. If we want to get to the bottom of it, we'll need more evidence. But yeah, Kaya's right. Yes, though we don't have any clues to go on, we should sweep the area again soon. But first, let's focus our attention on the problem at hand. Look, another letter! It must be Dodo King! A letter? Quick, read it! Mysterious Dodo King, mysterious Dodo King. He sleeps alone on the southwesterly aisle. The bad child made him wait too long. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit. You made the moon run a ring. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. The secret lies here. Do you dare to proceed? More cryptic riddles? He's trying to tell us something. What could it mean? Does it have anything to do with those crystals? And also, Southwesterly Isle? Now, which island would that be? It's the one with the giant bowl. I'd say it's about time we went and investigated instead of standing here making wild guesses. We've looked all over these islands, but there's nothing interesting here. There is two? The island over there is really weird. It has a big, huge, round thingy on it. Yes, he called Klee-nos. Klee, did you go off by yourself without authorization again? No. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to go for a walk. As long as you didn't activate any mechanisms. <sighs> Even if it seems completely empty here, it's easy to run into danger when you're by yourself. Klee, next time you want to go anywhere, please tell me first, okay? We'll go together. How does that sound? I thought Master Jean is always busy with other things. You really mean it? Oh. Of course. Yay! Okay! <sighs> Where does she get the energy? If Paimon didn't know better, Paimon would think that Jean was Klee's mother. You know, I had the exact same thought just now. Oh, she's gonna get embarrassed. Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies, Acting Grandmaster. Honorary Knight, let's go and take a look. Huh? Is this a shield? Hmm. Doesn't look very solid, though. Seems like some kind of energy shield. Careful, all of you. Don't touch it. It might send us flying for all we know. <laughs> of course it would. Big shield, big shield! <laughs> Klee knows you're in there. Hey, Dodo King, it's me, Klee. Come out and face me. Yeah. No answer. Huh. Maybe he's not here. No, he's gotta be here. The bigger the shield, the better Dodo King must be. I like that logic. Sounds like Klee logic to Paimon. <laughs> it's good logic. Oh, I think Klee's right. It's such a huge energy shield. There must be some reason for it to be here. A reasonable inference. I agree. If, if Albedo thinks so, then it's good logic. An energy shield needs an energy source. If we can find the connected devices to the source, we should be able to destroy it. Let's all look for any potential devices in the vicinity. Ready? Steady? Da da da! Klee, walk! Don't run! Come on! You don't want to finish last place, do ya? Let's go! Something to do with the shield. Three devices in total. And look, the light converges in one place. Albedo, are we able to deactivate the shield from here? Hmm. These light emitting devices each have a small frame in front of them. 
Looking at the shape here, it seems like something is supposed to be fixed in place. What shape is that? It's the things that we just got. Um, I don't get it. Someone explain. An oblong circle. Fan-shaped, I suppose. Hmm, what could it be? We're by the ocean. This shape is a seashell, perhaps? But all the shells we've seen were either bigger or smaller than this shape. If it's not a shell, then it's got to be... Huh, a fish scale. A fish scale? I, I don't, I don't think so, scale? Kaya. Are there any other clues around? <laughs> I'm not sure you guys are <laughs> making the right deductions. The frames in front of the light emitting device, which means it would have to be transparent. Right. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, so that's what they're for. If I'm not mistaken, this is a very particular type of installation. Light is integral to its function. I've seen similar designs elsewhere. The light has to meet certain requirements or emit on a specific path. The mechanism is only activated if the light conditions are met. It would appear that these three installations are the keys to activating the energy shield. And would you look at that? The light being emitted is white, but the installations themselves each have their own color. Red, blue, and yellow. Come on, we just got those items. Yes, just like letter. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. Huh, that's right. Honorary Knight, didn't that big machine we just defeated drop something? Yes, three crystals. Light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. It looks like these three crystals might be the answer to this whole riddle. Give precious things to the greedy spirit in the sea. Huh, is that what we have to do? If my understanding is correct... Huh. Honorary Knight, I suggest that you place the crystals in the sea. I believe that this greedy spirit is most likely an ocean-dwelling fish. If the crystals do attract it to us, then we're a step closer to obtaining our fish scales. So that's the plan! In that case, Paimon's got something to say. On the way over, Paimon saw a huge conch shell with lots of fish swimming around it. If we're placing the crystals in the sea, then surely that's the best place to do it. Plus, the water is pretty shallow over there. It'll How be convenient. easy to get the crystals back if the plan doesn't work. It will work. Don't jinx it. <laughs> yeah, don't jinx it, Paimon. Okay, okay. It'll work. All right, I, I guess I was kind of close. It, right? We weren't supposed to put the crystals inside the pedestal, so that would be too easy. But we are the fish. Please, was there anything else on that letter? Uh, um, what was it? Greedy spirit, greedy spirit. You made the moon run a ring. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. Maybe this type of fish only comes out after dark? Or to put it another way, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> all night with d Catch fish. Eat. Oh, that sounds like fun. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, Let's go fish Oh, yeah. Blasting. Let's see. Klee knows. Hey. Hold on, Klee. Will Master Jean come too? Jean said if Klee wants to go anywhere, she must tell Jean. And then we can go together, right? <laughs> uh, y yes, I did say that. <sighs> All right then, time to go fish blasting with Klee. Uh, is Paimon hearing things? Jean and Klee are gonna go fish blasting? It's way worth it. The fish will taste so good. This is a deserted island, so explosions shouldn't trouble anyone. <laughs> it's just a bit of relaxation, right? Fish, of course, fish, of course. There, mini fish. Klee's gonna get there first. Wait, wait. Whoop, there they go. Well, if Razor is going, then I suppose it's No, fine. Jean, you're supposed to go Once with her. Once everyone is settled in, I will go after them. Is it time for a break already? Fantastic. I was just thinking about taking a stroll. On this island where there's a giant barrier, Jean, Kaya? You're off on another pirate treasure hunt? <laughs> Who knows? These are big islands. There are bound to be more than a few secrets hidden away. 
All right, I guess canonically they must all have their own boats. Captain Kaya's on the case. <sighs> Master D. Luke, aren't you interested in pirate treasure? Hardly. I'm more interested in peace and quiet. Paimon doesn't think you'll settle for nothing to do. Amuse yourselves however you see fit. I'm taking my leave. Mr. Grumpy Pants. I'm gonna let this play and see you walk into the wall. For a bunch oh, of it ended. They really can't sit still for more than a few seconds. So restless. At least Albedo's able to sit and enjoy the... Huh? Albedo! <laughs> he left ages ago. Albedo said that he wanted to spend some time alone painting. Jeez, what This is the perfect environment everyone. to paint. Seems like we're all overdue for a vacation. It's not often that we get a taste of island living. I'm not surprised that everyone wants some time to themselves. It's already- the sun's already setting. We can kind of see that in the background. Everyone should enjoy the break while it lasts. I'll convene everyone when the fish arrives. <sighs> I suppose we have let our focus drift a little. But at the end of the day, you can't deny that this ocean view really is something. Traveler, make sure you take a little time to enjoy yourself, too. You're the best, Jean. No, I... I was just... <laughs> what I mean is, I hope you enjoy yourself here. No matter what is waiting for us down the line, I will protect everyone, especially Klee. This is my duty as the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. That's Jean for you. Always reliable. You're a very hardworking person. Hope you can get some proper rest here. Traveler, thank you. It is nice of you to say so. Anyway, I hope we can all find moments of peace and happiness on this beach. Honorary Knight! Over here! How are the fish? As we suspected, they were drawn to the crystal. Nice. Catchy, catchy fish! Uh, no, no! Don't uh, blast them, Klee! Klee from blowing up the fish to pieces? Perhaps it'd be better to let us catch the fish? After all, we're experts at collecting all manner of wildlife. We're just gonna dip our toes in there and grab them. That's and that's oh, we lost there. the immersion. I'm not using my cannon now. team. Miss Honorary Knight, are you gonna place the fish scales? Yep. Too bad I can't reach that high. Oh, you're not that short. <laughs> Then I'll be your helping hand, Klee. Do you want to do it? When you say, now, I'll place it, alright? Okay. But actually, I don't really understand this part. So if you place them for me, it'll be fine. I trust you. <laughs> okay. Then we'll place the fish scales and let Klee activate the final and most important mechanism. Okie dokie. Oh my gosh, I love it when she does that little jumping animation. We're just gonna let it play out for a second. Okay. I'm gonna finally see you, Dodo King. <laughs> Time to see what you really look like. I must say, Klee's incredibly excited. You can do it, Miss Honorary Knight. I'm cheering for you. Yay! Man, the whole party is here. <laughs> and then I have my Eula. I should have brought Amber with us. We finished placing the scales. Yay, amazing! <laughs> it's my turn now, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll leave that mechanism over there to you, Klee. Okay! Huh? Please make sure you stay safe. Yep, I got it! What's wrong? I... I'm worried. What if Dodo King really is in here? And what if he doesn't allow me to become Dodoko's family? Or if I lose to him... Oh. Then Dodoko can't be with me and Mom will be very sad too. Dodoko is my bestest friend that Mom ever gave me. I... I'm too scared to press it. Okay, we'll do it for you. <laughs> Miss Honorary Knight, can you press the button for me? Klee, I can't help you press it. What? Why? 
Because I have to hold my weapon. This way, I can protect you. Yes. We're all here for you. Don't worry, Klee. We've all got your back. No matter who the enemy is, as long as we're here, you don't have to be afraid. Oh man, this is just too Perfect. wholesome. I also want to see how strong the enemies on this island really are. God damn it, Dilu. Can you just show some emotion for once? Oh, I'm here. Guys, don't say things like that. What if Dodo King just wants to invite Klee to his house to chat? Or, yes, that would be the perfect scenario. Will he really approve of me? Why wouldn't he? You've always tried your best and have done a good job. Oh man, Albedo coming in with the with the kind words. Really? Lee, you're my favoritest friend. All right. Leave this to me. Press, press, press the button. Oh, it's Klee's symbol. <sighs> Klee's theme is playing too. <sighs> Did freaking Albedo set this up? I saw that little snide <laughs> smile. Wait, I must be confused. What is this? This entire island is like a massive gift box hidden beneath the energy shield. There seems to be something over there. Shall we take a look? Yes, I want to look. Wicked girl of flame, you have finally arrived. I've waited far too long. How very boring. Sounds more like a dodo queen. And uh, yeah, I don't think Albedo's behind this. He, he just likes to smile like that. You dare face me, the overlord of the dodo clan, dodo king. Such glorious courage. Though such courage is admirable. But it is now meaningless because... Because Dodo King is me! <laughs> Your mother, Alice! Oh my gosh! Huh? Mom? This isn't live, is it? Wait, Alice? The person who wrote the Tibet Travel Guide? Klee and her fellow islanders. Hey there! Oh my god, it sounds like it's live. So, how did you like it here? Was it fun? Summer skies and the ocean surf. Mm, quite the vacation, no? There's no use looking for me. I'm not actually near you. The speaking device on the platform before you is none other than my personal creation. The Alice phonograph. I'm using it to convey a mother's I love. I still can't tell if it's live or it's pre-recorded. <laughs> you can't be serious. So did Alice come to Mondstadt and place those letters? Hey, I didn't scare you all off, did I? Sorry, Mike Lee loves playing with all sorts of small toys. As her mother, I naturally want to support her. Oh. These toys aren't small at all! Alice Please. sounds like a good mom. Mother? It's a pity that I can't meet you, but I'll be watching your every move from afar, just as always. It was actually Alice. <sighs> How careless of me. Wait, what? You might find all of this a bit odd. Why would a mother so far from home expend so much effort to create such an aquatic wonderland? You created <laughs> this? That's correct. I've personally been to those islands. I absolutely adore the ancient ruins and unique landscapes. I prepared everything so you all could take part and enjoy the islands as well. Please, mother also seems to have quite the free spirit. <laughs> That's actually very true, the way the voice actor is portraying her. <laughs> Are any of you saying bad things about me now? Uh, no! Oh. Is she listening to us? Maybe it is pre-recorded? No need to be so troubled. What do you mean? I still can't tell. Please, mother, Alice, is an extremely enigmatic and near-omnipotent sorceress. Omnipotent Don't sorceress. Be Oh boy. This is just her character. You must have been curious about what was behind those letters. The boats, the buoys, the energy shield. Yeah, literally everything, and please. Actually, I thought it was a lot of effort, but this was the only way to invite everyone here. Am I right? The islands are just 
full of stories. The original inhabitants, shipwrecks, mystical machinery, countless coincidences converge here. It would have been such a waste if I didn't make these arrangements. Now, let me guess. Everyone who received a letter should be present. Kaya, D. Luke, Razor, Jean, Barbara. You forgot Amber and Eula. And then there's the reliable and intelligent Albedo. And the mysterious Traveler. And her good companion, Paimon. Well, technically, we actually didn't get a letter. <laughs> you were all invited by me to accompany Klee. Thank you all for allowing my daughter to have a memorable summer. Everything on the islands is a gift for you all. As thanks for keeping my little Klee company. But when you hear this recording, I'll already be right. traveling in other faraway lands. There it is. There it is. The life of a traveler is such haste and amusement. <laughs> Ask the traveler next to you and you'll know. So Alice went to all these lengths because she was too busy to be with Klee? No, mom's just like that. Now, everyone, if you're trying to find some hidden meaning in all this, I must tell you that the situation isn't <laughs> as complicated as you may think. So, okay, this is not part of some bigger picture. But what about the Magu Kenki? The reason why I like the city of Mondstadt is that its freedom is exactly what my daughter and I could ever hope for. My wish is simple. I want Klee to grow up with a curious yet kind heart. As long as she so desires, she can do anything and go anywhere. So that's it. Well, I must admit that it certainly fits Alice's style. My apologies. I misunderstood. It must be nice to have a mom who's such a character. Yep. Mom is the bestest mom. When did when did Alice leave Klee? Like how how old was Klee when Alice went to go travel? Mom, we caught fish, sailed a boat, went swimming, and played a lot of things. Everyone's been super duper amazing and very kind to me. Next time, you can come with us and we can all play here again. It appears that mother and daughter are kindred spirits, both wild and free. Ah, oh, summer. Speaking of summer, when I went to those islands, it also happened to be summer. Sitting on the beach, listening to the waves roll against my feet, I thought of you, Klee. You are a child of summer. A present to me from the sea and the wind. Mom is thankful for your birth and wanted to give you something. So, Mom dressed up these islands, transformed the ancient ruins into a summer park, and used the moniker of Dodo King to invite you. In another world, there are tales of a wondrous island named after golden apples. Known by many names, it embodies the majestic vistas conjured by human fantasy. Mom loves that story and wanted you to enjoy the wonderful things in it. So Mom gave you sapphire waters, pearly sands, a fantastical paradise for you and for those who love you. Huh. So there were only three crystals. Light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. Perhaps from Alice's perspective, this archipelago is the natural fourth crystal. Located in the middle of the sea and covered by plant life, it truly is a lustrous and emerald summer crystal. Klee, just like Mom, you are of a race blessed with longevity. For us, time is like a gust of wind, moments come and end. In such a long life, parents are but a child's first connection. Even though we don't want to be separated, there will come the day when you must walk your own path. Clee, Mom will always love you, but there are also others by your side. Friends who accompany you, teachers who educate you, people who are willing this is to way stay on too island for you despite knowing how unusual it is. Ah, oh, summer is for everyone. No matter how life changes, no matter how many things happen this year, summer will never disappear. Just like the love between people. From now on, regardless of wherever you go, I hope you never forget oh my how gosh. many people in this world love you. We all do love Klee. Oh, yes. Be sure to listen to Mr. Albedo at home. Mom will regularly return to see you two. Actually, whenever I have a moment to spare, I sneak back to check on you and everyone else. <laughs> Has no one noticed? What? Why would you not say hello to and Klee Alice. in the person? Aunt Alice saw. You don't think Albedo knew from the start, do you? Yeah, you know, he did smile, so he might have. Huh? Uh, time's almost up, so I'll stop here. Right, right. 
I spent a lot of effort on this place, so you all must play your hearts out. Everyone, my darling Klee. See you next time. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Klee seems particularly happy. Donut King was actually Mom. I don't know why, but I am very happy. Oh, they didn't dub this. Will you feel lonely without your mother? Nope. Mom is the most strongest mage, so she can keep me company no matter where she is. She never lets me feel lonely. Oh man, this is just this is too much for me. It's too much I for my heart. I love mom this much. <laughs> Miss Honorary Knight, do you love Clee? Yep. I also love you very much. You have to play with me lots here, or else Mom will be disappointed. I still have a lot of Jumpy Dumpties, and I brought Donoko here, too. I'll take you swimming and fish blasting. <sighs> it's always fun when we're with you, Klee. Hey, come 